Welcome to today's flow. I am going to let you guys know before we get started, I am 23 weeks pregnant, so my longtime subscribers will probably start to notice my body changing a bit. This specifically is not a prenatal flow, there will be some in the future, but for now this is just a regular full body flow. So you can get started in a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat. Taking a moment here to ground into your body. Land fully present in this moment, right here, right now. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, let it go through the mouth. Beautiful. Now you can open the eyes. We'll take a deep breath in, stretching the arms up to the sky. And exhale, releasing the right hand to plant to the side, finding a stretch through that left side body. Breathing into the left side body, feeling it open up. Inhale, rise through center, palms touch. Exhale, we'll switch. Left hand plants to the side of you, opening through the right side body. Inhale through center, palms touch. We'll exhale, finding a twist. Left hand plants to the right knee as right hand plants behind the body. Inhale through center. Exhale, twisting to the second side. Inhale, final time through center. Now we'll release the hands to plant to the front of the mat, stepping to tabletop. Take some cacaos with the spine, so inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, round the back body, chin tucks to chest. Inhale, drop the belly to your cow pose, arch the spine. Exhale, tuck and round for cat. A few more breaths flowing just like that. Beginning to synchronize your breath with your movement. Beautiful. Now we'll inhale, finding a neutral spine and stepping the knees back just a couple of inches to our modified plank. Slowly release down to the belly. Inhale, pressing through the hands, lifting the heart, a cobra. Exhale, release all of the way back down. Again, inhale to lift the heart, open the chest. Exhale to lower. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release. Beautiful. This time we're going to take a big breath in, pressing through the hands, lifting all of the way to our upward dog. So lifting the thighs, more active. Exhale, roll over the toes downward facing dog. Walk it out, so big bend into one knee and then the other. Releasing the hamstrings, the calves. Fingertips should be spread wide, gripping down through all parts of the hand. 
Inhale to gaze forwards. Exhale, begin to walk the feet between the hands. Finding our ragdoll at the front of the mat, allowing the upper body to fold nice and heavy, grabbing a hold of opposite elbows. Gentle little sway from side to side. Now we can release elbows if you still have them. Interlace hands to the back of the head. You're drawing your elbows together, stretching through the spine, through the back of the neck. Inhale, rolling one vertebra at a time, all of the way up until you are standing tall. And hands remain to the back of the head. At the very top, spread the elbows wide, open through the chest, through the heart. Good. And slow release. We'll take a deep breath in, hands stretch to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant. Step back, high plank. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale to find our cobra pose. Exhale, roll over the toes and release the heels, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweeping right leg high. Exhale, land right foot to the outside of the right hand for lizard lunge. Active, so keeping back knee lifted. And slowly release that back knee to plant down to the mat. Again, lift the knee, extend the leg, and release to plant. So one more time. Perfect. Then lifting the knee, doing a gentle little shift forwards and back. Really working into the hips. Well, now you can release the knee back down. We're going to find a twist. So you can turn the right toes out slightly. And roll to the outer edge of that right foot. From here, we'll take right hand to press into the knee as you gaze past the right shoulder. So you're gazing out behind you. Take a couple of deep breaths. Release hand to plant, walking your foot to center now so your hands are framing that right foot. We'll take a deep breath in, exhale, shifting yourself back, half split, folding your weight over top of the right leg. Keeping left hand planted, inhale, right hand reaches to the sky, opening into a twist. We'll slowly release, inhale, lunge forwards, we'll exhale, step it straight back, downward dog. Switching to the second side, so inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand, and back knee stays lifted. So active lizard, softly releasing right knee to plant and then lifting it high. Release to plant and lift one more time. Great, and now a gentle shift forwards and back. Now softly releasing the knee back down to the mat. So again, we're going to find that twist on the second side. So rolling to the outer edge of the left foot, left hand presses the knee away from the body.
and we'll land shifting the foot between the hands so deep breath in exhale take it back half split soften your weight creating length through the left hamstring beautiful work now opening into your twist right hand remains planted as left hand sweeps up to the sky really opening up through the chest reaching long through the arms exhale release the hand to plant lunging forwards step it straight back downward dog a deep breath in we're going to ripple forwards high plank exhale lower chaturanga inhale heart lifts upward facing dog exhale releasing downward facing dog sinking heels towards the mat Breathing deeply. Inhale, gaze between the hands. Exhale, walking feet to front of mat. And finding ragdoll, so just allowing the weight of the upper body to completely soften. Interlacing hands to the back of the head. With an inhale, rolling one vertebra at a time all of the way up the spine at the very top creating a back bend spread the elbows lift the gaze leaning head back into the hands good now we'll release take a deep breath in stretch arms high exhale fold inhale halfway lift Exhale, hands land, step it back. Exhale to lower. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, pressing the hips up and back, downward dog. From here, we'll step a right foot to the front of the mat, turning your body to the side. So you're walking hands between the legs, finding your wide-legged fold. Maybe grabbing a hold of ankles here to help draw your torso between the thighs. And lengthening through hamstrings, inner thighs even into the groin we're going to prepare for a side lunge so hands can land in front and as you exhale sinking the hips down and back over to the right so side lunging to the right maybe hands stay planted maybe palms draw together breathe into whatever sensations you're feeling slowly release and we'll make our way back through center and then off to the left and just finding your own depth what feels good and right within your body hands will land and extending the legs folding the weight of the upper body nice and heavy decompress your spine we'll inhale rise all of the way hands reach to the sky exhale hands draw to the heart now we're going to flick the heels in toes are pointed out and sitting the hips into our goddess squat so sitting nice and deep 
building strength through the lower body, at the same time opening up through the hips. Hands can release to plant. We'll find a twist, left shoulder drops towards center as you gaze past the right shoulder. Good, inhale through center, and exhale to switch, twisting to the second side. Stay with it, we're almost there. Inhale, rise all of the way. Legs can extend, and now the heels flick out. Toes are pointed straight forwards. Interlace hands behind the back. Big breath in to open the chest. Exhale, folding forwards. Peeling your hands away from the lower back. Opening through the chest, through the shoulders. releasing the fingertips and allowing them to plant all of the way down to the mat. We'll walk hands now to frame that right foot and step it straight back downward facing dog. Take one more nice deep breath here. And then softly release knees down to the mat going to find a toe stretch, arch of the foot stretch, so keeping the toes tucked under and sitting your weight back into your heels. Maybe your hands need to stay planted to the ground or maybe you can bring hands to the thighs. Breathing into that discomfort. Now we'll release hands to the mat and just pat out the tops of the feet. Making your way to your seat, going to find our butterfly, Baddha soles of the feet together, knees fall apart. Grabbing a hold of the ankles, and hinging forwards from the hips as you fold your weight down. Deep release for the hips. Staying with your breath, even in stillness. Inhale to roll all of the way up to your seat. And from here, we'll extend both legs out long in front. Paschimottanasana. Inhale to create length. Exhale, folding over the legs. You're really reaching your heart forwards, creating not length not only through the hamstrings, but also creating length through the spine here. Inhale to rise. Now landing hands behind, bending into the knees, setting up for our reverse tabletop. With a deep breath in, pressing, lifting the hips up towards the sky. And the head can gently fall back. Countering the forward folds that we've done. Opening through the front body. 
then softly releasing back down to your seat. Beautiful, we'll find a cross-legged seat to close off our practice. Finding a moment of gratitude, a moment of stillness. Taking one final breath together. Inhale, hands stretch to the sky. Exhale, hands draw down to the heart. Thank you so much for being here, so much for practicing with me. I hope that you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you next time on the mat. Namaste.